Hey everybody, and welcome to my first ever year in review. So as we all know, 2021 is coming to an end. So before this year ends, I just wanted to recap a little bit of all the stuff that sort of went on in this year for my channel, for me, personally. Now, channel-wise, this year has been one of the best years I've ever had on YouTube. It's by far been the most fun I've ever had making videos on YouTube. Most of my subscribers probably come back from a time when I was making pretty cringe gaming videos, let's plays that no one really ever watched. Videos that are still in fact up on my channel, I won't be taking them down ever because I truly believe that those are the channel's history, and I would never take them down because they are genuinely good memories for me. While those videos are quite nostalgic to me, they aren't really good from like a normal person's perspective. Those videos, however, I wouldn't recommend to go watch because, you know, those are just relics of the past at this point. For me, my channel really got rebirthed when I made Deep Fucking Value, the man who took on Wall Street and won. Now, this is my first video since I decided to come back to YouTube and decide to make videos again. And boy, let me tell you, I was a nervous wreck when I was first making that video because believe it or not, now for a lot of people, 2,000 subscribers is nothing to sneeze over. That's a lot of people that have clicked subscribe on my channel who have liked my content in the past. So naturally, that was some pressure for me to have on my shoulders when I was making my comeback. Here's the thing, right? I'm not PewDiePie, I'm not Dream, I don't have a fucking huge fan base. My fan base consists mainly of the same 10 people who watch my videos over and over, but for now, that is a fucking dream come true. A lot of people can say they'll never get to that point where they have recurrent viewers, so the fact that people tune in video after video is just so mind-boggling to me, and truthfully, it warms my fucking heart. I've sort of veered away from the stock videos in recent time because, well, I'm not gonna lie, they weren't what I wanted my channel to be. I never started Stooges of the Future and wanted to be a stock channel. That just isn't fun to me. Yes, I did enjoy making those videos, and no, I'm not throwing out the possibility that more stock videos will be coming soon. More than likely, there will be more stock videos, but for now, I just don't want to pigeonhole myself into making content that I don't truly enjoy with every aspect of my being. Whew, that was one big breath. Now, don't get me wrong, I love making commentary videos too. In fact, they're probably my favorite videos to make. The Seth Rogen video and the Island Boys video in particular were the first two videos that I really thought I was catching a groove, and I still believe that I'm getting better and better at commentary as I go along. However, in no way, shape, or form is Stooges of the Future going to be a solely commentary-based channel. In this next coming year, I'm going to be having a wide variety of content ranging from music covers to IRL videos to pretty much everything you can imagine. If it's possible, I want to do it. I started Stooges of the Future a long time ago, a seriously long time ago. In fact, from the date I'm recording this video, in 8 days, it'll be my 10 year anniversary on YouTube. Now granted, it's not a true 10 year anniversary, because for a little bit of lore, for all you people who are new to the channel, I took a rather long break from 2014 until this year. The truth of the matter is, I just didn't really have the drive to make videos during that time period. Like, there was a lot going on in my life that I just wasn't really in the mindset to make videos. I didn't really want to make videos. I had a really bad PC as well. The people who watch this channel that know me in real life can attest to the fact that I had a genuine crap top. My PC would sound like a literal jet engine whenever I would turn it on. I, I think I have a video. Hold on. A legitimate jet engine. Now, if that noise sounds familiar to anyone who's watched my channel, yeah, that noise was in most of my videos from this year too. Especially my deep fucking value video, which outperformed all of my other videos. That noise is present throughout the entire video, and I've gotten comments about it, which are quite comical, I'm not gonna lie. The whole point of this video, however, is basically me admitting to you all that my passion for making videos has actually come back. I truly have more fun doing this than anything else in my life. And I guarantee you, by the end of 2023, we will be at 100,000 subscribers. 
Ever since I was a little kid, I've always wanted the 100,000 subscriber plaque. I really didn't even care about the gold one or the diamond one. They didn't really have those back in the day when I first started this. I wanted the 100,000 one, and by fucking god, I'm gonna get it. No matter what, we are gonna get that plaque to Stooges of the Future. And you all are gonna be there with me when I get that plaque, and it's gonna be one of the greatest achievements of my life. And I truly mean that. It's in reach, and we're going to achieve it. I'm ready to begin. I'm ready to make this channel something I've always envisioned it becoming ever since I was a little kid. Ever since I was that little 12 year old making Fossil Fighter Champions videos, I always it had a vision for this channel. And I'm ready to put that vision into action. So I hope you all stick with me throughout 2022, throughout 2023, throughout 2024, and beyond. You guys are gonna be there with me every step of the way, and I truly can't even begin to explain to you how great it makes me feel when even one person leaves a like, when even one person drops a comment. It truly makes my day, and I know a lot of people take comments for granted because you go to comment sections like PewDiePie's or Dreams or XQC, and there's thousands upon thousands of comments, but being a small YouTuber, one comment can make that person's day. One like can make their day. And that's happened to me many times, especially in deep fucking value. That was one of the best weeks of my life, my comeback video, doing that fucking well. Holy shit. All in all, I'm ready to begin. And you guys are going to be there with me. Thank you guys so much for making this year the best year I've ever had on YouTube. And next year, trust me boys, we're only going to get better from here. Hope you all have a great holiday, and I'll see you guys in the new year. Peace. Oh, by the way, Leafy and Kanye also followed me on Twitter and Instagram respectively, so take that, haters!